How am I missing this one? Oh, because it's further down. Wait, one second. I hope you've had more luck than I was tracking down my cobstone. Ah, uh, yes, yes, indeed, 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 ahead. I hope yeah. you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Oh, oh, yeah. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Magic, common sense, and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Well, yeah. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that mm. I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Hmm. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Of course not. Very well. Off I go. Wish me luck. Good luck. Is it higher up? Seems to be higher. This, but where higher? Oh, oh, yeah, surely. There it Handy is. resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Ah. Okay. Okay. Professor Fake is. If my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can't believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize before term begins. I've sent the test to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nigelius Black, Headmaster. Rebellion. Hmm. It says there's something here, but nothing that I can see. Well. Off on another adventure, are we? Hopefully. What's over there? Let's go to Nutty. Actually, cannot. Can't. I can't. How inconvenient travel was before I invented sleep. Sure, I can't. But it 
it's always so noisy in the common room. And then I can't concentrate, so I end up just talking to everyone and nothing gets done. I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back. Uh -uh. Never requires us to write more inches of parchment on a topic than necessary. Revelio. Transfiguration has always come easy. Three sister bells are said to be attributed to three similar names. Beautiful steep bridges that rise majestically over Glen and Argyleshire. <laughs> Some minds are more suited to it than others. For what level do I need? I don't think I'm ready for this just yet. All required level two. Ah, and repower, of course. Oh, I just need to return to him. <laughs> I'm come stupid. back to this another time. All right. What are you up to now? This is typical stuff. Forgetting what I was up to and then getting back at it. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. <laughs> no. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. All right. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove on the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed. Quite magnificent. Quite magnificent. Um, if you don't mind. Revelio. Uh -uh. Despite rumors to the contrary, possible started by Sir Cardogan, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. 
<laughs> How petty. Handy resource indeed. You're Sorry, I did not listen. I've got places to go. Places to be. I don't know that I even saved time here. I don't think I did. I, I really don't think I did. Rebellion. Broken broom. This broken broom belonged to Celine Wartnaby and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow 30 years. No one knows if she succeeded. me yes yes let's go natty i hope i haven't kept you waiting long not at all professor weasley tells me that you need to go to hogsbeat see si. you must be eager to have your own things again and to see the village mm. i've been looking forward to it good shall we set off i intend to give you a first rate hogsmeade experience mm. nice i like that stone face Really brings out the magic in you. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Get used to it. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. You were cooped Great up in ancient rooms. Great to too. take it as an elective class, believe me. <laughs> I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Well, still elective, isn't it? Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Hmm. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh. Well, Uganda is known for its snowy mountains. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace winged flies in this area. Oh? Mm -hmm. What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Ah. Well, there goes the vegan route. Bye bye. Give me all the. Oh, although, eating bucks may, may be good. May be good. Resourceful. Look, from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder oh. if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Why do you know about Poppy? Leave her, let her rest. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Of course. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. I'm right there ah, with you. There's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. She I sees was... right for everyone. Well, I certainly learn a great deal in class. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Of course. A 
didn't get those, did I? No. But I need you. Sorry, didn't want to let you wait. Oh, look at that. Ah, beauty. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. That's my first day, Everything so... Everything was so... new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here, too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you, too. Hmm. It surely will be. Don't even bother. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nati, come, come. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Oh, maybe Hello, he's solved the hippogriff. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. All right, Mr. Moon, we're gonna. We're gonna... Oh, Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. Maybe. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Oh, that's what I do with it. Nice. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever wow. you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that's that in true. mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. Mm. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Mm -hmm. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. Mm -hmm. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Oh. Experience yes. Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm. I'm going to do this without a map. This is not a map. This Locked. Uh, there we go. Merlin, flaming beard, not again. What? I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Yep. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, I... Uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand-makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Oh, please. Uh, 
no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. That's what she give said. Give this one a try. Yeah. Uh, I don't think. Well, go ahead. Swish. Uh, no. Uh, mm -mm. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Mm, no, it's not. It's not mine. Oh dear. Could have well, this isn't you. a good match at all, is it? No. <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, I know which one. Uh, no, no. Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Mm -hmm. Let's give this one a try. We might have a winner, but I'm not quite sure yet. Brutally, brutally, oh, wrong choice. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, <laughs> this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, mm -hmm. there you are. Of course. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Hmm. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. indeed how intriguing curious indeed Phoenix feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. How intriguing. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. 
This indeed. will be an excellent match indeed. Indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. I'll come back. doing kind sir enjoy your cup uh, truly I'll come back later to you too I guess Beautiful cut. Beautiful. No, I don't need to go in there. Um, stop playing some. Nope. Honey dukes. I don't need to go into honey dukes. and dudes Merlin would cringe. Okay. 
maybe I do need to work with the map. Sorry. Have you never heard of Twilight? Ah, <laughs> uh, so good times. right down there and straight ahead whatever that means <laughs> okay north we got north 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 gotta go northwest and there's What's your problem with dung? Scared of shitting yourself? Off on another adventure, are we? Yep, always adventuring. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Hello, I am looking for ingredients. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. Mm -hmm. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Yeah, of course. Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. Mm -mm -mm. You'll already turn the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. Mm -hmm. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? Oh. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Oh, sure. What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Oh. I don't really like this hat that much.
guess I have to get going. Gotta come back here. Sorry. Whoops. Ah, damn it. Where's that? Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. Uh... They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. <laughs> look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Thank Looking you. Looking for a change, are we? Uh, 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 uh. Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. Oh. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't sure. you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. Hmm. What services do you offer? And how much what is do it they you cost? might be interested in? Well, I have a new friend, so I should probably go with the <laughs> No. Um No. No, 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 no. That would work, but not really. No, no. Although... It may actually do. Thank you very much. Mm, mm, mm. No sec. Oh, there we go. Still judging me from afar, huh? Good on you. to work with the map. Oh, I, I'm completely wrong here. Oh, can't roll out of that. An inquiring mind. Well, 
Wouldn't you want to ask a question if that was the case? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? Mm. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Mm. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. Already impressed That's already. certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. Oh. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want when you want. Let's have a look. Oh, surely. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Mm -hmm. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. <laughs> That's so cool. There's so much cool stuff in this game. Uh, nice. Thank you. That's all I can afford for now. What is this? Oh, oh you didn't have to. Oh, how magnificent. What a what an astute layer you have. Akio. Where is it? Where did it go? Can't get by me. That's why there was a bridge on the map and I totally forgot about the bridge. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Huh? Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? True. I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Mm. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Well, it doesn't need to be out. fresh. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Oh, I don't think oh, I need that's to. That's everything. Practice. Better go and find Natty. Thanks. Uh, I bet someone will come here and talk to you. Don't stay lonely. 
I gotta get a beer. Butter beer. Butter the butter the butter the beer. See me coming? Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. What the? Well, I guess it's troll. Total recall. Draw it away from the building. Away from the building. Well, Damn it. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We have to let him down. <laughs> it's really relentless. Ow! Stop! Ah! Finally. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? First day on the internet? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Hmm. 
Preparo. thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Repair it. Rebellion. We were just talking about you. Oh, where are you? What were you talking, huh? Slenderous libel. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. Of course. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. Uh, no problem. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I could offer you something much more useful. A fine I am Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Mm -hmm. Life-saving protections. Oh. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Indeed. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh, you really want me to do this now? Oh, damn it. Crimson overcoat. Now there we go, a golden trimmed rope. Now, now we're talking.
Well, 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 well. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. Oh. Well, slowly but surely, this is taking a form of, yeah, form I like. Battleworthy items, should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Oh. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student. Take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? I'm your All worst you nightmare. need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. <laughs> it's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Oh, how? Heard about the attack. Great. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. 
The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> oh. time, Lane. Mm. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. Zing! I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Well, at least they're... Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. F words, What black. are you not telling me? Br breath. I promise to tell you everything. Yeah. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. You think? Uh, first, let me have a nap. Or, 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 or a muffin. Muffin is also great. Wait, why are you? Oh, damn it! I wanted to go upstairs first. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. So Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Where's my common room? I don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh, there it is. Hey, beautiful. How are you doing? Hmm. Come and see me. I've discovered something in a locket with hundred gringots. Oh, that's it. Okay. See you later.
I've always said that travel broadens the mind. You can never have too many fairy lights, in my opinion. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Okay, there's absolutely nothing to review here. Great. How nice to see you, my young. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Did I just go to the right one? brain doesn't fill up you're entitled to your opinion doesn't mean i'm obliged to agree i should say a bins class fills up your brain that's what i'm saying shockingly i'm struggling to find the connection there or oh. has your grandmother also graced us with her clearly expert opinion on the subject of memory yes she says you only have so many heartbeats and only so much room in your head and when it's full, it's full. Well, she's quite Staggering that your grandmother correct. isn't making headlines in the prophet. Oi, can you help me? I would love to... Okay, why not? Hello, were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Oh, you heard about Asked it. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? No. Yeah. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Mm -mm -mm. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. All right. Oh, okay. I think I know exactly where this is. Imagine how inconvenient that was before I invented flu powder. I fell off my broom and broke six bones. They said they'd never listen. He just activated slow mo mode. Look at him. What a gangster. What an absolute chat. Wow.
No. Revelio. Not enough that I have to be here. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Here, uh, uh, here. Go. There's the fountain. Yep. I'm getting closer. one of the talkative ones, okay. The stairwell looks promising. This looks like the portrait from the map. Now where's the treasure? Revelio. Reparo. Accio. Uh -huh. There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. are back aren't they brilliant is everything all right yes i'm sorry i'm just i'm nelly by the way i'm just so excited that the dedalian keys are back the what keys the oh. dedalian keys surely you've seen them flying about no rumor is that a former headmistress professor moll conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago oh. professor black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys and they appear every few years you should try to catch one why would i do that each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle if you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Hmm. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I, I hope will do you so, follow a few keys oh. at least. Oh, if you on. manage to open a cabinet... Oh, 
find, if anything. Any progress with your treasure map? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. Mm. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems mm -hmm. as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. I'm thankful that you did. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Oh, it will. Two cats? Oh, I can't pet them all. My mother is so excited for me to come home for the holidays. She's written to me nearly every day. The family hours is exhausted. Oh. oh. I did 26 hours of homework last week. Okay, we got one and four. Here we need two, which is... Probably my favorite room. Revelio. Rebellion. <sighs> We're gonna do that next time. See you. I didn't know that I could actually manually save. Nice. As you can see, I played through the night. Uh, we got, uh, yeah. So I gotta, I gotta, gotta catch some Z's. See you. If you please. Bye then.